on church floors and dine on the good graces of supporters to make our 50 mile pilgrimage for safe jobs. Last Thursday, these courageous warehouse workers standing behind me marched out of the dusty desert and out of the shadows to take a stand for a better life. We marched through Riverside, San Bernardino, and Los Angeles counties along the same route that the goods flow in and out of the warehouses to be here in front of you today. All day, every day, these workers move goods for Walmart. These are our final steps to win safer jobs. I've been marching with these um, warehouse workers behind me so that we can make we can win change in our jobs. For me, the decision was hard, but it was necessary, and it's been a successful march and a very powerful march as well. In the Inland Empire, where unemployment is high, a job in a warehouse is one of the most common jobs out there. All day we move Walmart merchandise, but we are temporary workers. We have no job security, we get paid minimum wage with no health benefits, and we are treated with little respect. We have to work faster and harder all the time. I had to do something to improve our jobs. I help Walmart profit, but I can barely pay my bills. Family member Bonnie Lowenthal, a champion for warehouse workers. Thank you. Gracias. It's great to be here with you. You know, I have to tell you, I represent in the state assembly the biggest port complex in the United States, L.A. and Long Beach. And Walmart comes out of the L.A. port. And for some strange reason, they think it's okay once they get to this side of the Pacific that it's okay to forget workers. And it's okay to forget the conditions of complete slavery that these warehouse workers behind me are part of. It's not okay, Walmart. It's not okay, is it? No! So, and you know, you can't forever hide and outsource these jobs and say you're not responsible. We want to say to Walmart, you are responsible for your workers. You have got... So how could it be that a company like Walmart, whose owners, the Walton family, each individually are worth billions of dollars, can allow can allow these working conditions for men and women, mostly Latinos, to exist. It is not just a shame. Walmart should not come into L.A. County anywhere as long as they don't take responsibility for everybody who helps them be profitable. They don't know that they have the most courageous workers right here the warehouse workers willing to do whatever it takes to get the respect that they deserve. When we fight, we win. When we fight, we win. When we fight, we win. The warehouse workers are fighting for it, and we came as a labor movement. 300 unions in LA County to say thank you to the warehouse workers for your courage and for standing up to the Walmarts and the contractors that they hire. Yeah, we want justice!